know, you're, you're just pulling and the thing's jammed up on you. This clip does not come out the backside. Do not try to get it out this way. You will break it. Hey guys, this is Pete Brushy Racing here. Today I'm gonna to show you a trick that I learned about Quick Connects. I'm really kind of embarrassed that I'm making this video now, but I think it's gonna save a lot of people from frustration. This should have been so obvious to me why I'm breaking these Quick Connects, why they're getting jammed up, and uh, I, I just can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. So that's why I'm showing you today a trick to these. I wanna show you why I got started down on the really dark path and started breaking these all the time. This is the EVAP purge valve, and this is the first thing to go out on the EcoBoost platform. These are junk. These are just compliance, emissions, devices. They suck. You end up going through a lot of these if you have EcoBoosts. So what got me down the path of breaking these quick connects is this red one right here. Remove this by prying this out. You can do it by hand, and then you take that out. And then you look on the side here and there's this button and you're gonna push that button as hard as you can and pull on that line and it's not gonna come out. So by taking this clip out, I thought that this side would have to come out too, but it doesn't. So then what are you gonna do? You're gonna grab your pick, you're gonna pull that thing out and you're gonna break it. So. What you have to do to get these out, as it turns out, you have to push the line on. It'll move a little bit. Make sure that line is snug down, and then you press, and then it'll come off. When I figured that out, my mind was blown, and I stopped breaking these clips. Down on the bottom side, we have this other guy. It's the same deal here. You need to make sure the line is pushed on, push the button down, and twist, and they come off. Got all these bad habits started because I had to pull this red clip out. Whatever pressure is coming through this line, I guess, is forcing this back against the stopper there. And that stopper is what's jamming up this mechanism here. See, when you push that, let's go. Oh, fuck. You might even find at times that you'll need a screwdriver to help you put the force on the line, but you don't need a pick. You don't need any special tools. This clip does not come out the backside. Do not try to get it out this way. You will break it. I'll be honest, I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't figure that out sooner, but you know what? We live and we learn. That's all part of mechanicing. So hopefully that helps you guys, save you from some frustration of breaking these dang things. Now, I don't know if you've heard of the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! But he's got a sweet kit on Amazon. It contains all of the common sizes that you've probably broken. See, I keep this one here as a reminder that this one goes to these. The auto parts stores don't have this size for some reason. 